Okay, so let's begin the story of the JSL language. Okay, to the going back to the old introduction class one more time. So we told JSL as job control language, and we know the words here. Job means execution of one or more programs. Execution of one or more programs here, and in here we also have a step. Okay, each execution each program execution is called as a step and in a single job in a single instance of job guys in a single instance of job we can code up to we can code up to 255 steps guys up to 255 steps in a single particular job guys we can execute 255 steps and we have seen the basic knowledge okay the a basic JSL knowledge what we have guys is on the job statement will be there then we have an exit statement then the DD statement and finally the null statement and till date guys till date we are writing a JSL which looks like this IBM user X job notify the user system ID step one execute my program called my cobol program here step library mentioning here dd dsn equal to the load location t1 dot load this is equal to share and then we have mentioned some uh, libraries for catching the log messages of sysprint and sysout so this was our first jsl job guys this was our first jsl job my question guys my question to you who are in this particular class who are not sleeping yet my question is can I use this job in production or project guys? Can I use this job in project? And we guys including me and you all together. Can we use this job in project guys? No. Yes, you can use. Shall we use guys? Come on guys, you still need to get your energy back. The course is not completed. You think that the course is completed, guys? It's not even half completed, guys. We just completed only COBOL. That is the developer thinking. Now we are not developers, guys. We are in the project of production environment. Who is the person? Okay, let me ask you a question, guys. Let me ask you a question. Who is the person that codes the production JCL job? Who is the person who codes the production JCL job? Is it the production support person or is it a developer, guys? developer all of you who are in my class who is still not sleeping guys who is the person that codes the actual jsl job support or developer 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 i can see four point five people are there in my class others are still sleeping here so do you want do you want this job to be in project no. this code is it eligible for going into production guys no 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 obviously no the one whatever the jsl we have written guys is even not even good for the testing purpose okay can i use okay can i use this job in project for testing purpose can i use it for testing purpose guys Production, assume this is for production, and we say no. Okay, fine. The question came to us that can I use this job for the actual project for testing purpose, guys? No. No. So the JSL knowledge what we had, guys, is not good enough. You can write the COBOL program what I gave to you in the project also. That is the part you have learned. You know how to handle a file. You know what is comp and comp3. You know what is a copy book. You know how to use a file manager tool. That is a project level knowledge, guys. But I did not express what is the reality of JSL in project. So I have suppressed the concept and I have highlighted only the COBOL part. But, but JSL has its real importance, guys. JSL has its real importance. I'm going to give a story, guys, so that you understand what the JSL is first, and then you can understand what is the brilliance of JSL. I'm going to give a simple story so that you can catch up my concepts of JSL first. So you all know what is running, guys. 
you all know the running race, right? I agree. I know. And you know there are many types. Okay, there are many types. There might be a hundred meter race will be there, which people will go for running at eight to nine seconds. There are people who are gonna go for two hundred meter race. There are people who go for eight hundred meter race. There will be hurdles will be there, and there will be a marathon of five kilometers, ten kilometers, and there will be a freestyle as well. Now you know all these racing guys, but there is one special racing out of all these guys. And this race, okay, a new race or a special race. It's not new. I have seen this racing almost 10 years back only. So there is a special running race, guys. There's a special running race here. And in here, it's not, it's a freestyle. Okay, it's a freestyle. You will be having no track. Okay, there is no track here. There is no particular uh, straight line. It's not a straight line, guys. It's not a straight line, guys. It's like, will be a, uh, running in a town, maybe like running in a particular town from point A to point B, point A to point B, and it's not like even quick also. In this particular running race, guys, there are two people. There are two people. Come on, people has to combinedly run the race, combinedly make the race, guys. And of course, and of course, to make sure, to make sure the race is combined, okay, to make sure the race is combined, both the hands of the runners, guys, both the hands of the runners will be tied up. Will be. Guys, both the hands of the runners, guys, they both has to be tied up and even one person cannot run the race is over for them if they want to get into finish line guys if they want to win it if they want to win guys this race mandatorily both should cross the finish line both should cross the finish line have you seen any kind of this race guys have you ever heard about this kind of race anyone did anyone heard about this kind of race guys two people their hands are literally tied up and they have to run get the finish line completed the race of a special category guys and there is a reason of these two things out of these two guys out of these two runners one runner guys is a blind the blind runner guys he can run fast he can run long he can run forever but he cannot see the path guys he cannot see the path the second runner who is there he is also a runner but he can also see the path so if this particular race has to be completed and finish the line guys okay they need to finish the race both people has to go together there is no other option to win the race because one of the runner is completely blind. If you ask him to run straight line, he may run and get the run. He may go for a track, then he may get a uh, first race. But it's not about a track. It's not about a straight line. It's a town to town race. There is no particular lineup. It may go here and there. So someone need to guide him and then make the race. Now in this story, guys, in this story, there are two runners, one with who can see and the other one who cannot see. Now my question guys, my question is, which one is Cobal? Which one is Cobal guys? Which one is Cobal? 